organizing content in your Brightspace shell can be done on the content tab. And you can organize stuff however you like. They call it a new unit, but it could be, you know, by topic. When you first add something, by default, it is hidden from students. That's great because it lets you work on it and draft through it until it's absolutely ready. And then when you're ready for it to go live, you just hit the little switch and now your students will be able to see it. Within what they call a unit, you can create a new, what they call a lesson. But again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lesson. It could be a topic of some kind. Um, let's say this is for algebra. And then you can even go a third level deep and underneath that you can create what they call a folder, but it could be a particular activity or um, type of content, um, how to whatever. Um, and right here in this box, you can kind of just like an email format it however you like, but you also have um, these buttons right here, one to add an image and this one to insert stuff. And when you go into insert stuff, there's quite a lot of options. Um, you can even embed videos. Now with my school board, for some reason they block the YouTube option, but if you go to insert link and put the URL of a YouTube video there, uh, it will work. So for example, let's say I wanted this one just copy the address of the video, paste it here, and insert, and it will embed it for you. So you could uh, do that, which is great. The other thing you can do, instead of creating something new, you can add something that's existing. So if you already had something created, there are all kinds of options there too. So another way you could think of it, instead of going by topics, you could make a new unit for each week. And you can drag and drop things to put them in whatever order you need. And you can create uh, an HTML document is basically just uh, information. Of course, you can add a link, an assignment, a discussion, a quiz as well. So you can get pretty specific with what exactly you are adding. Now I'll show you an example of how I've organized my content in my real classroom. So I teach core French and I have added actually a bunch of different content and I've changed the names of them just to be more specific to my program. But I've got some general info and resources, how they can get help. Um, I've created some visual dictionary resources, basically anything that I normally have up on an anchor chart, I have included in here just as reference material. And then I have my different activities, um, if you're using other tools that can embed, they can embed right in your content. So this is a grid from Flipgrid and I can put it right in here, which is great. Um, I also have activities that are um, a Dropbox folder. So in here they call it an assignment, which, you know, that is confusing with Brightspace sometimes. They call it the same thing, something different somewhere else, um, but you do get used to it after a while. Uh, and so there we go. There's all kinds of different ways. Now you'll see right here, this little symbol. Uh, this means it's only visible if conditions are met. So I was getting kind of fancy here and I wanted students to only see step one. Um, and then when they're finished step one, step two would magically appear. And when they're finished step two, step three would magically appear just to avoid overwhelming them or uh, to avoid them accidentally handing in uh, their step one assignment in the wrong folder. And the way you do that is um, after you create something, you can go to view release conditions and you can create different release conditions 
you know, something will appear after um, they finish something else. So if they got a certain score in a quiz, you could have a certain content appear. Um, but what I did was uh, when they received feedback on a Dropbox submission, so when they received their feedback on step one, then step two magically will appear. So there's a lot of powerful features in here. It does take a lot of exploring to get used to them all, but that's just an example of what I've done and how I've set that up.